Hi, I'm Michelle Backus with Rutgers Cooperative Extension, and I'm going to talk to you about protecting our state's waterways. New Jersey's rivers, streams, lakes, and bays provide us with recreational opportunities, like boating, fishing, and swimming, economic opportunities like commercial fishing and tourism, habitat for wildlife, and our precious drinking water supply. The land that surrounds and drains to these waterways is known as a watershed. When land within the watershed is healthy, then the waterway is healthy. But much of the land in New Jersey has been changed and many of our waterways are no longer healthy. The land has been developed, forests cut down, and soils compacted. In addition, roads, rooftops, parking lots, and other impervious surfaces prevent rainwater from soaking naturally into the ground. This increase in urbanization means more polluted runoff finds its way to our waterways, resulting in poor water quality. Stream banks erode. Streams and ponds become clogged with sediment. Communities are flooded more frequently, and important habitat is washed away. Urban watershed problems can seem endless. What can we do? We can get together with our peers and develop a plan, a plan for a healthy watershed. Let's take a closer look at how a group of organizations is helping to restore its watershed. I'm Enos Zimmerman, and I'm the district manager of the Freehold Soil Conservation District, and I'm the project manager and administrator for the Manalpin Brook grant. The Manalpin Brook starts in Monmouth County in central New Jersey and continues to flow to the north into Middlesex County, to the South River, and into the Raritan River. The brook also flows through Manalapan Lake in Middlesex County's Thompson Park, enjoyed by thousands of community residents that visit the park each year. Like many of our New Jersey lakes and streams, the Manalapan has problems with pollution caused by excess stormwater runoff. Stormwater runoff is just the rainwater or melting snow that moves over the ground. In our developed communities, too much stormwater enters our waterways at one time through the storm drain system. The increase in stormwater runoff has caused severe erosion as well as excess sediment and nutrients to build up in Manalapan Brook and Lake. One of the primary pollutants of concern here for Manalapan Brook and Lake are suspended sediments, which is essentially dirt in the water column. And that has a really negative impact on the aquatic life. Attached onto those sediment particles are nutrients such as phosphorus, which helps to stimulate algae growth and plant growth. In addition to that, heavy sedimentation on the bottom eliminates fish spawning habitat. So one of the long-term goals is to minimize that suspended sediment load going into the brook and lake. Expensive lake and stream dredging is needed to remove sediment buildup. Vegetation along the banks normally protect the soil, but many of these areas are bare and vulnerable to erosion, causing property loss. In addition, geese eat the shoreline vegetation, inviting more erosion. Sediment is not the only problem. Excess nutrients in the water cause nuisance aquatic weeds and algae to grow out of control in Manalpan Lake during hot summer months. In 2008, municipal and county representatives, scientists, and local citizen groups began working together to study the Manalapan watershed. With funding from a New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection grant, a plan was developed that identified specific restoration projects throughout the watershed. Having a watershed plan made all the difference. The department approved the plan and provided more funds to put the first projects in the ground. All of these projects not only improve water quality, but also use native plants to restore habitat and attract beneficial wildlife like birds and butterflies. One solution is to naturalize existing detention basins. The purpose of stormwater basins is to collect runoff from developed areas and they serve a purpose in that they prevent flooding and they capture runoff and hold it for a period of time and then slowly release it so that it's not as much of an impact to downstream areas. By removing concrete channels, improving the soil, and planting flood tolerant plants, these basins can do more to capture runoff and sediment. The naturalized basins will be mowed on a less frequent basis, maybe once or twice a year. So that inherently will save uh, the counties and municipalities money in terms of maintaining these systems. Another solution is to stabilize sections of stream bank and shoreline with erosion control blankets and plants to hold the soil in place. Stream bank protection also helps reduce property loss for residents living along the stream. Also, floating wetland islands are being installed in Manalapan Lake. 
Hi, I'm Eric Gehring with the Middlesex County Office of Parks and Recreation. One of the solutions to the problems in the Manalpin Brook we're working on today, we're planting our floating treatment wetland islands. These will be constructed materials that are going to be floating in the lake and growing through them are a variety of native wetland plants. Those plants are going to help remove excess sediments and nutrients from the water while at the same time providing habitat for the fish that live here in the lake. We can all do our part to protect the Manalapan and other watersheds throughout New Jersey. Here are some suggestions. Never feed the geese. Pick up after your pet to prevent water pollution. Install a rain garden at your house to soak up excess rainwater runoff. Collect rainwater runoff from your roof with a rain barrel. Redirect downspouts from your roof so the rainwater soaks into your lawn or garden. Protect the storm drains. Never dump litter, animal waste, motor oil, or leaves into the storm drains. They all drain to the river.